you doing here? Well, Ahmed, today we are in Fujairah to meet Wilhelmina van der Weg, an 87-year-old Dutch woman who lives right here in Fujairah. She's, given, she's helped deliver at least one baby for every family here in Fujairah, even Kalba, Khorfakan, Masafi, and people back in 1960s used to come as far from Oman and Iran to come and wow. deliver their babies here. And what is she doing now? Well, nowadays you won't find her oddly sitting at home as Wilhelmina, or she fondly likes to be known as Minnie, likes to paraglide in the waters of Fujeda and even zipline across the mountains in Resakhema. So why don't we go and meet this exciting woman? Oh. There was a man, an Irish man in uh, Al Ain, who worked there, and he had written home uh, and said, there's a great need here, you can come. And that Irish man, that was the cause that we came, he went to talk to this old Sheikh, Sheikh Mohammed, the father of our present Sheikh. And oh yes, he wanted us very much and so he gave us, they had two rows of white houses here, they were empty. We got a house to work in and a house to live in. Has it never felt homesick that you wanted to say, I give up, I want to... In the very early days when it was difficult life, I just... <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you funny, I said to God, God, you've made a mistake, I, 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 I don't belong here, I want to go home. But, um, and then I said, well, if you want me here, you have to help. Because all kinds of things cropped up here that we weren't. We came as midwives and they came with diarrhea, they came with cuts and we had to stitch. They came with sore teeth, they came with everything. Because there was no other doctor hospital, so we had to learn all kinds of things. And we weren't prepared for it. So, but anyway, we learned and Apart from the heat, which we had to go for about one and a half, two months in the summer, we stayed here and liked it here. Now it's my home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you're planning to then retire here? Just... To die here. <laughs> what shall I say? I have more people I know here than at home. I can at home walk through streets and nobody knows me. I can fall down and faint. Nobody will know. So in here, everyone knows me, hello, mna, hello, mna. so that's so, so nice. So what is the secret of keeping so young? <laughs> uh, young? Tell us, yes. I'm young in spirit, but not in body. <laughs> no, mashallah, you're very active also in, in body. I loved going to the beach and collect shells. So I've got a beautiful collection of shells. And we like to go to wadis. And so when we came and there was lots of water in the water, we had to get out of the car to see if the car would go on. So we came through the desert and we had driven an hour and we felt very proud. And we came back to the same spot we started. So after that we carried stones or empty milk tins and put it at certain places so that we recognized the road and we got used to it. If you see the two women who are stuck, you have to help them. <laughs> So that was very nice. I have kind of been anywhere and everywhere. So I just liked to see nature and see different things and, and, and people. Nosiness, adventurous spirit, I don't know. I just wanted <laughs> to see, you know, the world. And so the patients said to come from Nahwa. Oh, he said, where is Nahwa? So then we had to go one day to Nahwa, you know, find it. Oh, I've done all kinds of silly things. I collected shells, I collected stones. I've uh, collected old things. Yes, I've got things that I could give to the museum that the museum didn't have. Because we wandered around in the mountains and people had left their houses and left some of the old things behind. But. Uh, anything special no I'm just an ordinary person and I remember one time we were so tired John says uh, at, at that in the beginning we had no electricity but at that time we had electricity close the gate switch the bell off and we did 
But the people didn't give us rest. They took stones and threw them on our roof. The roof was chinko, you know, chinko, aluminium. And I was so glad I went. It was a lady and she had twins. So actually all this going out was later on in my time here in the beginning. Work, work, work. Uh, uh, kerosene that you would heat. Well, we had to have two burners next to each other and then a big bowl. We had to boil a big bowl like that on, on it and then we had to put the sheets up and down and up and down to wash them. So we dripped from the perspiration into the water and added to it because we were so wet. No, nowadays I, I'm too old. I'm very sad. My, my spirit wants it, but my body can't go so much. <laughs> so I rest a lot, I sit a lot. I love to go out, I love to go out, but I can't walk. So you had four generations, and the great-grandmother was 60, but then you had 60, 45, and so you can go on. So you had four generations. See, this is all ten. If you see here, that is Wadi Worea where that they've made a nature reserve now. It's a beautiful wadi. That, that, that was Heidi and her friends, they gave me a treat for my birthday on a boat. But I had always been seasick and I couldn't go on a boat. But I found out that with a speedboat, I'm not seasick. So we went on a speedboat and then it stopped and it said we'll stop here because there were lots of people who wanted to dive. See, I, had heart trouble and other things, so I couldn't do that. They talked about it and I thought, well, you talk, <laughs> I go. And so I jumped in the water and went ashore. And later on, we stopped again. I got mother of pearls, yes, but pearls were in. And I would go collect lots. And so things like that were to me lovely and interesting. Then you saw this beautiful formation of rock. Oh. A trip like that you enjoy thoroughly. We went into wadis and I've had flash floods. Little ants shooting up and coming up the mountains. We said, what's up? Oh, okay, oh, hurry, hurry. But we were on a high point, so okay. Wadi was coming. I'd never seen it, but that was like a flash flood. And while we stood there, we heard And there a big stream came pushing. You saw that water coming literally like a wall. And then this wall went forward, forward, pushed everything more. If a car had been there, the car would have gone. And things like that you see when you go out. You see there are people in the bay and Shardia, they've never seen this coast. They all see mall, mall, mall. And there is so much to see here. There is sea, there is mountain, there is sand. Well, I like to explore and find out. I got that glide as a birthday gift for 87. <laughs> that was very nice. I'd seen it often and I said, oh, that would be nice. But uh, then others did it and I said, oh, I would have liked. So they said, would you really? I said, yes, of course. Paragliding, uh, speedboat, going to Khasab, Khasab on a boat, going to uh, Jebel Akhdar, Jebel Shams. Yeah, you know, you need to be yourself and if something looks interesting and you want to find out, do it. Don't do what everyone does. Everything is so interesting in Dubai and the Abra and all that. So if you are young, you need to go out and, and, and discover things. Yeah. <laughs>